Giant axes wielded by a man with a jacked muscular physique sliding around whipping monsters and fucking your bitch in the name of the Lord. If that doesn't sound like the coolest shit imaginable, then turn away right now because obviously you're not a real human with a healthy functioning brain and an average sized dick and or lady dick that has a big throbbing boner for getting yoked and going vampire hunting. And I think we all know who's the best at being a jacked vampire hunter. Wait a goddamn second, did the name Simon Belmont really just pop up in your mind? Don't think I can't hear your thoughts, motherfucker. I can and they're wrong because Richter Belmont is the one and only vampire hunter extraordinaire and don't you forget it. Anyway, he's in Smash Bros. Here's how you play as him. All right, we're not here to make friends. We're here to talk about the easiest way to make a fully grown adult cry using a controller and some harsh language. So let's cut right to the chase. You heard of rock, paper, scissors? Well, let me introduce you to a game called Axe, Whip, and Water. They're basically the same exact games, except instead of two people using their hands to duke it out, I just give you those actual weapons. And the other guy doesn't get anything, and in the end, nobody wins. Sound good? But wait, though, what do I do with these three very random items? Well, kid, to put this in as divine of a way as possible, <coughs> Spam the ever-loving shit out of them! Use the cross when they're on the ground, the axe when they're in the air or trying to recover, and the holy Molotov cocktail when they're coming too close. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. You wanna know when to use them? Just flip a coin at the beginning of the match. If it lands on heads, you use the pointers I just gave you to tactfully box out your opponent and take them out before they can even reach you. If it lands on tails, just keep repeatedly slamming your fist into your controller and using your broken hand spam slam jam to let the game decide how it's gonna crush your opponent's spirit. And if it lands on its side, then that's some divine intervention shit. You're playing against a fucking demon. So just throw holy water in their face and run out of there faster than they can say Count Chocula. Anyway, those moves basically take you to kill percent, so we can just move on to smash attacks now. Wait, what are you what are you doing over there? Stop looking at that. No, that's not for you. Stop fucking looking at that. No, uh, fuck. Okay, fine. God damn it. We'll talk about his throws and aerials. Neutral aerial pushes them back with the power of a man who has 15 years of baton twirling lessons under his belt and doesn't care who knows it. Forward and backward aerials. Crazy range. Good for spacing. Plenty of combo potential. Up aerial is a good juggler and along with the forward and back aerials can grapple onto the ledge. And down aerial sends Richter hurling back down at the map at top speed, which means if you kill yourself with that, it's gonna make you look like a really sad loser and not only probably force all of your friends to lose every last shred of respect they had for you, but also it's gonna make me look bad. And if you ever make me look bad, I will personally put CEO of YouTube, Susan YouTube herself on the line, have her track your address, find you, and personally meteor kick your ass so hard that even Dracula himself wouldn't want to be anywhere near your blood-filled pulp of a carcass. Do I make myself clear? Wait a second. Are you crying? You weak, feeble little person, get back up. We still have to learn about his smash attacks. And don't you even think about going home and crying to your mummy. The only time that that's acceptable is when you're letting out a battle cry while you're wiping your ass with the wraps of an undead mummy after tearing off and consuming his balls like the alpha you are. Actually, that's kind of messed up. But you know what they say, axes and whips may break my dick, but words will never hurt me. But back to those smash attacks. Uses side smash to guard the ledge, punishes holy water, and just generally tells somebody to fuck off. Same deal with the down smash, but its range is a bit shorter and more more for people who are rolling around you. Up smash could circumcise an astronaut with how high up it goes. That's pretty much it. Oh, also his down tilt can be pressed once to do a little ground slide and pressed again to do a little slide jump. Good for getting away from your enemy or alternatively as an approaching tool. Just wanted to mention that because it's pretty handy and I forgot to mention it in the last video so don't crucify me in the comments about that. Get it? It's a cross joke. That's hilarious. It's okay to laugh. Anyway, those are his moves. They're all pretty cool. Go away now. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I make these every week. Follow me on all the shit. It's in the links below. Bye.